Big Cable's home internet will put you through the stages of grief, like denial. My introductory rate is over, but surely they won't raise the price. Or anger. They've raised it. But with T-Mobile 5G home internet, you get our price lock guarantee, so we won't raise your rate for internet ever. And it's just 50 bucks a month with auto pay and eligible payment method. Check availability today. Price lock exclusions like taxes and fees apply. Qualifying credit required. Regulatory fees included in $50 price for qualified accounts, plus $5 per month without auto pay. Debit or bank account required. Are you ready to move your career forward? Make your comeback with Purdue Global and get college credit for your work, school, life, or military experiences. With these credits, you may have already completed up to 75% of your undergraduate degree. You've worked hard to get where you are. It's time to get the recognition you deserve and earn a degree you'll be proud of, one that employers will trust and respect. When you take the next step in your life and career, make it count with Purdue Global, Purdue's online university for working adults. Start your comeback at purdueglobal.edu. Hello, from Wonder Media Network, I'm Jenny Kaplan, and this is Womanica. This month, we're pulling back the curtain to reveal women overlooked in their own lifetimes or in our historical accounts of the eras in which they lived. We're talking about the activists, thinkers, leaders, artists, and innovators history's forgotten. Today's Womanican was a gifted pianist and composer who wrote hundreds of pieces of music in her lifetime. But you wouldn't know it because they were published in her brother's name. If it weren't for modern researchers, her name might have been just a footnote in her brother's biography. Now, Fanny Mendelssohn is getting her due. Fanny was born in 1805 in Hamburg, Germany. Four years later, she was joined by her brother, Felix. Their parents wanted the best education for their children and hired tutors for all kinds of subjects, including languages, arithmetic, geography, literature, and drawing. Their favorite subject was music. Fanny and Felix started receiving musical training from a young age and were even taught by a student of Mozart. The siblings quickly became musical prodigies. Felix was nine when he first started playing public concerts, and Fanny was just a young teenager when she played all 24 preludes from Bach's The Well-Tempered Clavier from memory. It was one of the only times she would play a public concert in her life. Fanny's father was adamant that music was men's work. In an 1820 letter, he wrote that music could maybe become her brother's profession, while for her, it, quote, can and must only be an ornament. A year later, Fanny met and fell in love with the painter, Wilhelm Hensel. They married in 1829. Marital expectations didn't stop Fanny from pursuing music. She was disciplined and made playing and composing a part of her daily routine. Growing up, Fanny's family hosted regular concerts at their home. When she was an adult, she carried on this tradition with her Sunday salons. The soirees, which were invitation only, included chamber music, Mozart's operas, and Bach's cantatas. They also became an outlet for Fanny to debut her own compositions. Attendees loved the originality and quality of programs Fanny put together. Her work was well-loved among the music aficionados of Berlin. Felix supported his sister's love for music and even admitted she could play the piano much better than him. He valued her advice on his own musical work, but he agreed with their father that she shouldn't publish her compositions. Once, Felix said, From my knowledge of Fanny, I should say that she has neither inclination nor vocation for authorship. She is too much all that a woman ought to be for this. Sometimes, Felix published her works in his name, That way, audiences could hear her music, albeit without knowing the true mind behind them. Once, Felix was invited to Buckingham Palace to perform his pieces for Queen Victoria. She made a request. Could she hear one of her favorite songs? Felix asked which one. She said, Italienne. It was one of Fanny's songs. Felix bashfully admitted to the Queen that it was his sister, not him, who wrote it. Over the course of Fanny's life, attitudes towards women in music started to change. When she was 41 years old, Fanny bravely published her first piece of work in her own name. She may have gone on to publish more, but she never got the chance. Within a year, Fanny had passed away due to complications from a stroke. It's estimated that she wrote more than 460 pieces of music in her lifetime. After the Berlin Wall fell in 1989, archives from former East Germany became newly available to researchers, and Fanny's contribution started to come to light. Works that were thought to have been written by Felix are still being reattributed to her today. 
Musicologists now believe it may have been her, not her brother, who pioneered a then-new type of musical form known as Songs Without Words. All month, we're talking about women behind the curtain. For more information, find us on Facebook and Instagram at Womanica Podcast. Special thanks to Liz Kaplan, my favorite sister and co-creator. Talk to you tomorrow. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Have you had it with toxic pet odor products that don't really work? Try the revolutionary new odor eliminator, Poof. Poof eliminates odors instantly. No harsh chemicals, no tacky perfumes. Poof dismantles odors on a molecular level, turning any organic odor into clean, fresh air instantly. And not just pee or poop stink. Use it on stinky pet toys, their beds, even on stinky skin folds, ears, and around eyes. Because it doesn't contain harsh chemicals. Get the amazing new pet odor eliminator everybody's talking about. Go to poof.com today. That's P-O-O-P-H dot com. If it's not poof, it stinks. At Ford, we pride ourselves on building strong, capable vehicles. But we're only as strong as the people who drive them. People like you. Who don't just see an F-150, but see what they can build with it. Because built Ford Proud, it's a pact between us, our drivers, and what we can do together. Built Ford Proud. Some models, trims, and features may not be available or may be subject to change.